Hi everybody, I'm Kyle with Midas, and we're gonna take you through the CDMU Midas Pro Series User Certification Course. So this section of the video, we're gonna go over the control center operation of a Pro 3 6 or 9. They are all similar in hardware, just differentiated through firmware and input and output channel count. So starting from the top of an input channel, just like an analog console, vertical, starting at the top, VU metering, gain reduction for your comp, gate, closure, hardware safe LED indicator. This is your gain section. This is where you will be able to adjust your analog head amp gain and your digital attenuation or your digital trim. 40 volt, 48 volt phantom power operation, a talk function, phase reversal, and a little LED. What this does is toggle between console views of what's going on. These little buttons are all the way down your channel strip. What it does is bring the channel into view of what you're working on at that time. It does not affect audio, and it's just a quick access function to get to that area as fast as possible. Right below the gain area, is the direct out controls. If these are not patched to a direct out device, to either like a playback or a record device, these mutes will stay illuminated. Moving down to the next section, this is your dynamic section. Here you have your comp on and a clear button to navigate directly to your comp of that channel. That way you can get to the controls and start adjusting. Right below that you have your gate on and off, and the navigation button as well. There is a listen LED in the dynamic section that corresponds with this, so you can listen or solo right at the comp or gate level. Right below that is the insert for the channel. This can be an insert from an analog device out of the back of the console, or this can be inserted directly in the effects rack as well. This will not turn on or off or get the yellow assigned LED unless something is patched to that channel. Right beneath that is the EQ section. Each input channel has a four band parametric EQ. Treble, high mid, low mid, and bass. And it also has the activate on switch as well. Right below that is your bus mixing section. Whatever channel you are on over here in your buses, is the ones that will activate. It will turn those on, pre, and give you an AFL listen directly from this section. Beneath that is your stereo busing section. You will have an SIS button, which stands for Stereo Imaging System, a stereo bus, a mono bus, and your left-right pan for the channel. Right beneath that is your scribble strips or your LCD buttons that are gonna contain your input list and the coloring of the groups that you put in. And right beneath that, you're gonna have more safe LEDs, mute safe, auto safe, and fader safe, along with mute for the channel and a solo bus designation. And of course, right beneath that houses the million cycle Midas Pro fader.